Well, welcome to Coop's Chronicles, the second edition. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, the date's January 25th, and so I'm hoping your week is going great. And I'm reminded about how we answer the phone here at Central Church. It's a great day in Lethbridge. So it may not seem like that, but it's the day that we have, and we get a chance to celebrate that. So today it's about a couple of highlights, a quick devotional, and then some uh, announcements. So as many of you know, we started the new sermon series about uh, God in the dark days. And one of the titles or taglines is going to be Discovering God's Life Lessons in the Dark Days of His People. And over the next little while, we'll look at scriptures and passages where people have been drawn to. And I've had lots of suggestions already about some scriptures that they'd like to have me focus in on in terms of dark days. And uh, a couple of them, Joseph when he was in the pit, or Jonah in the whale, it's pretty dark in there. Uh, Jesus in the garden that night, a dark, dark day for sure. Um, and um, I, I was drawn to this passage of scripture that was uh, identified uh, uh, with some of my African guys. We have this WhatsApp prayer thing that happens on Wednesdays and Saturdays. And so every day they have a devotion. And this was the scripture passage from it, from uh, Psalm 71, verses 20 and 21. Though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. From the depths of the earth, you will again bring me up. You will increase my honor and comfort me once more. And I got thinking about the truth of that. And as we start to unfold and a lot of passages where it seems like darkness is the victor until the light arrives. And that light, as we know, is the Jesus that we serve and who gave his life for us. You know, today in particular is a difficult day for uh, three people in our church. Uh, Eric um, Schmidt had his bone marrow scan and we'll be hearing more about the results of that sometime later on, maybe around February 1st. Uh, Isabel Schuler had her uh, day surgery today to remove a, uh, a tissue from her breast and, and uh, it's a day surgery. She'll be home and she's got a folk, uh, some friends staying over to take care of her. Uh, but also Carol Miller uh, went to her surgeon and they have scheduled her surgery for next Monday, January 31st. They need to remove her left thumb. It's not responded to any of the um, antibiotics or um, efforts that they've had to try and uh, in eliminate the infection. So uh, that surgery is going to be next week. So we want to be praying for her. So there are lots of things for us to be thinking about and to be aware of. And uh, we are just uh, sent out the Sentinel yesterday, so you should have gotten that in the mail by now, at least the emails. And we've also sent out the links for the church service or the message this past Sunday uh, about the darkest day until the light arrived and God said, let there be light. So here's one other thing for this week to keep in mind and put on your calendar. Uh, next Monday, the day of Carol surgery, happens to be the day of my wife Mary's birthday. So uh, January 31st, a lot of years ago, in fact, 70 years ago, she came into the world and became the blessing of my life and so many other lives. And so if you're wanting to do anything, you can find her on Facebook. You can pop emails to me at haroldcooper at gmail.com, or you could send something to her at m. Coop Nana, as in Mary, but M Coop Nana at gmail.com. She'll love that. God bless. Have a super day. Bye bye.